That shouldn't have been a late start today. But apparently I need a new phone. And I have to deal with um, needing a new phone as well as um, having to deal with my bank at the same time. It's every bit the nightmare it sounds to have to deal with that mixture of shit. Anyway. Especially since I still haven't gotten a new phone, and I'm just going to have to do that after the stream. It, this, it's stupid. Oh. <clears throat> oh, my God. I don't know what this is. We're going to move this up here, and we're going to start with this. Okay? Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes official trailer. It, like, is this a new Hunger Games it's from Lionsgate. It looks like it is. Oh my god. Why would you have a new Hunger Games, though? Like, the Hunger Games books are done. You did all the movies. You did great with interpreting them from books to film, which is a rarity. I mean, like, it's, like, Hunger Games does good. Um, Harry Potter does good. The Lord of the Rings did good. I'm going to say did because if you're seeing this and they've gone through this effort with making this new TV show or whatever it is that they're going to do, that's going to be a travesty. Game of Thrones as a TV series started out good and then they started to catch up to the books. Like not even caught up to bo the books, but they started to catch up to the books and then they bastardized the story for simplicity. So, and, and really, I mean, what more do you expect when George R. R. Martin is, like, swimming out in the middle of the fucking ocean away from any land at all with insight for hundreds of miles? And the people who were writing the show belong in a children's pool. So, of course, that was what was going to happen there. Anyways, we'll watch this, and then we're going to watch this conspiracy TikTok video again. And we're re-watching the Conspiracy TikTok video because um, apparently I changed um, my layout in OBS and it muted my microphone last time. So we're re-watching it so that we have sound. Anyways, let's start here. Hey, at least it's Peter Dinklage. I mean, you can't go wrong. Peter Dinklage is great. He's hilarious. He does great acting. He has a wide breadth of skill and ability. He's a great actor. So at least we're seeing a good actor choice, right? I don't know how exactly it's going to play out, but here we go. I have summoned you all here for the 10th annual reaping ceremony in which we choose two children from each district to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. From District 12. Lucy Gray Bear. There has been a change this year. As a mentor, Mr. Snow, your role is to turn these children into spectacles. Okay. Survivors. What is my I'm gonna rewind this because I I just I had to look. Um, apparently there is a fifth book. Um, which I mean I don't blame. Suzanne Collins for writing another book after she finished the story with how successful it was in the movies and everything else. I don't blame her. I really don't. So, maybe it's good. As long as she didn't force the book and they follow the book the way they did in the first four films, I'm sure it'll be good. I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Games themselves. Peter Dinklage. What a funny name. I have summoned you all here for the 10th annual reaping ceremony, in which we choose two children from each district to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. From district. So this is like a, a prequel from earlier on, right? Because this is the 10th annual Hunger Games. So this is before the first four books. And... I haven't read this book, so I don't know if, like, he's supposed to look like Peter Dinklage and be a dwarf, or if he's supposed to be, like, uh, something else. Like, I have no idea. haven't read the book. But, 
apparently that's when this one takes place. Okay. I, I don't know why you'd go backwards instead of forwards because of the fact that they voted to do the Hunger, Hunger Games again on the people from the capital. I just don't know why you wouldn't dive into that instead. You know what I mean? Lucy Gray Bear. There has been a change this year. As a mentor, Mr. Snow, your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not survivors. And what does my mentor do besides bring me roses? I do my best to take care of you. You really want to take care of me in that arena? Stop by thinking I can actually win. So is this to dive more into Snow as a character? Is that why they went backwards instead of forward? Was to dive more into President Snow? Because that's that wouldn't be a bad take either, to be honest. I just I think it'd be more interesting to go forward. I'm Lucky Flickerman, first ever host of the Hunger Games. Enjoy the show. Five, four, Enjoy the show. three, two. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. What happens in there? Fueled with the terror of becoming prey. See how quickly we become predator? See how quickly civilization disappears? There's a natural goodness built into us all. There's really, I would argue that that's a lie and that we we learn that we can step across that line into evil or not you hear that boy did they get why you has he got an AK boy. it's the sound of snow someone's final performance it's not just about winning everything is about winning you monsters all of you <laughs> So, it looks interesting. I have concerns. First of all, um, my understanding from the books was that they're not supposed to really, like from the Capitol, being sympathetic, thinking that they're monsters or anything of that nature, the way that this implied that they, they kind of portrayed it, and like not liking the game's or wanting people to survive the games, things of that nature. Like, that's that's not supposed to be the way it is at all. It's supposed to be very much so like a vindictive, uh, you guys rebelled, and now you're going to pay for the rest of forever, and your children will too, every year. And the Hunger Games is how you're going to do it. And um, it's it's not meant to be something that's looked down on it's very much so supposed to emulate like a almost like a brainwashing that you saw from nazi germany as well as like a, a infatuation with the hunger games that would mimic what we understand of like roman Colosseums, right so i i just i'm concerned that she wrote this book and they're making the movie. If the movie is accurate to the books, that gives me concern that maybe it's um, it was done strictly to get money, and uh, it's gonna alter the way that the story lays out the foundations for the story because they went backwards instead of going forward. That's one of the reasons that I don't like watching them go backwards anymore. Is because they go and they do prequels. And they fuck up what they already laid out as the foundation to their story. And it ruins the whole thing. So, 
Hopefully that's not what happened. Because there are there's ways they could do that with this, with having snow in there at that age. And they could do it without having it be like a, something where it's really bad, right? Like they could do it somewhat in some way where where the, you because it's snow who becomes the president snow that we know from the books and the first movies we would be able to there's ways they could write it is what i'm saying that don't end up messing it up my concern is that uh, up here where this dude yelled that there are monsters right like the way they're all playing together. Uh, okay, we're not going to be able to just fast forward to it. But when they when he yelled that they were monsters and stuff, like that's it. There's a way you could write that and have it redeemable, and not ruin the story. The thing is, did they do it? I don't know. I didn't even know there was a new book for it. I figured she was done with the books because it came to a conclusion, a very obvious conclusion. So. I don't know, maybe I'll get the book and read it, because I do like the story, I do like the books. I, like, I might I might just order this book, like, this weekend or something, and read it, or see if I can find it somewhere and buy it, so that I can read it. We'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, I've already captured tone design of the book. Okay. book was actually a decent prequel and decent villain backstory. Okay. We don't care about this come fast to get into my body, people. They're fucking creeps. Don't care about her either. Lucy's bow gave me goosebumps. Okay. This movie already sounded great. Cast and Peter Dean Flidge was a stroke of genius. Look, this is that person. Same fucking person with like a third comment. Another one of these traps. Another one of these traps. Some Russian guy. When I heard it is the things we love most that destroy us. I died and was reborn. It's been a long time since I've got I've had goosebumps from trailers. It's like I've gone back ten years, and this melody at the end breaks my heart. Excuse my English. I'm a foreigner. So maybe it's maybe it's done well. I honestly just have no idea. This makes me want to get the book and check it out, and then maybe you watch the movie and see how they do. Be honest. Which would be outside of character for me watching movies in a movie theater. I already watched my one movie quota for the year with the way that Hollywood's gone. Okay, I watched I watched John Wick 4. That was a, a clear and obvious dub. I was going to grab it while it was hot. I took it, watched it. There you go. Happy birthday to me. Now, Hollywood's done such terrible effort with movies. That's all I want to give them for the year. Thing is, Mario doesn't look or sound too bad. I kind of want to check it out. I think I'm just going to wait till it's in a cheaper theater. And um, I might check this one out too. So there you have it.